Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 18 beta 4. Finally, iOS 18 beta 4 is here on our devices. And let's get right into today's video and talk about what is new on iOS 18 beta 4 and how big the update was, what all changes have I noticed after updating my device on this firmware. And be sure to stay tuned till the end and hit that subscribe button because I am your boy Jay aka tech hyped and i am one of the first people making videos on these firmwares for you guys so you don't have to miss these because here we talk about latest things at the exact time when they are released okay let's begin and talk about my first impressions on this update since i've not spent a lot of time using this update it's just been out and i have installed it and i'm talking about this update for you guys i can't really talk about battery life i know battery life is a really big department but Till now, it feels pretty okay compared to iOS Beta 3. But I'll just hold on to my comments and use this update on my device for some more days until I will give my final verdict on how is the battery life on iOS 18 Beta 4. Talking about the performance, is it any better or worse compared to iOS 18 Beta 3? The performance seems to be surprisingly better compared to earlier. I mean, just using my device day to day, scrolling through the UI and doing basic things feels a bit more faster. And I have a feeling that even the basic animations, just opening the app, closing the app, opening the control center, then opening the menus, going to settings, scrolling through the UI, that just feels a bit more refined and just more smoother to use. Basically, iOS 18 slides through the UI much faster compared to earlier. Then talking about the size of the update, it came at around 1.4 GB on my iPhone 14 Pro. Right now I'm installing it on my other devices. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for iOS 18 beta for review on iPhone 10 R, 11, 12. So yeah, I'm working on those videos as well. And now let's talk about bug fixes. There are a lot of bug fixes on this update as well. Number one bug that is fixed is respring issue. Whenever I used to just do three, four tasks simultaneously, like opening multiple browsers, then just using Instagram, using uh, Safari, using Chrome. And when I, whenever I used to do these intensive tasks, my phone was just ga randomly getting resprings, which is now finally fixed on this update, which is a good news. Then talking about the new features and changes, the number one new feature that is here is in the customization option, the dark mode apps are now more unified. What I mean by that now, even more third-party apps support the dark mode function and they are just in the dark mode so yeah earlier there were some apps those were just not compatible and they were not in the dark mode now all of the apps are compatible and they are in the dark mode and the next thing is talking about the new feature which is here is when you have the standby function on and you use your device as the night clock you will notice that the standby feels a bit more rounded. What I mean by that is the basic things like uh, the time and uh, the widgets and all, those are a bit more rounded and just if you compare it side by side, they are just a bit better on the iOS 18 beta 4 compared to earlier. A really small change, but yeah, a notable one. Other than that, I have yet to discover any new features as such. So yeah, it is kind of a boring update in terms of features, but definitely we have a lot of nice changes from the standby to the to dark mode icons and the battery life is good, fingers crossed. And not to forget the bug fixes are here. Also, I forgot to talk about that, but I freed up around 700 MBs after installing this update. So yeah, if you are low on storage, this update will definitely clear some storage for you guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till the end, I will be coming up with a bigger version of this video where I will be discovering more features and talking about those features on that video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. This is my first impressions on iOS 18 beta 4. I will catch you guys in the very next episode. Peace out and have a great day everyone.